Hey there, game developers, it's me, Titan Hex, here for another RPG Maker MV tutorial. This time we are tackling items, weapons, and armors. I'm anticipating this one to be pretty quick because you guys actually know a lot of the stuff that we will be going over from actors and skills. So let's go ahead and begin. They give you a few starting items here. Nothing really that substantial, nothing really of note. So we probably want to make more. So we're gonna increase this to about six and jump in and grab some new items. So obviously you're gonna name the item first. Uh, we'll call this one Firebomb. And we'll pick an icon, Firebomb. Hmm, probably look good with something that looks either like a bomb or like a flask. Ah, this looks close enough to a bomb. I'm pretty sure there's a, probably a better icon, but we'll use this one. So this firebomb item will be named, uh, let's see, deals fire damage to all enemies and all enemies. That ah, all enemies. Don't even need to capitalize that. So the things you need to know are item type, which you have regular, key, hidden, and a and b hidden uh you really don't have to worry about it you can just make items hidden um and then make them reappear nothing to really worry about regular item is just an item that appears in the menu the regular items menu of your menu and then key item will appear in the key item tab of your menu and typically just kind of sit in your inventory they're kind of just denoted as key items there's nothing else really particular about them price is of course how much it's going to sell to at the shop the there are you can set the sh shop exchange rate how much the shop pays you for items uh, usually that's done in plugins and other things like that we won't worry about it too much now but you can set a price and we'll make this one 150 consumable just means when you use it it disappears so for this one we want it to be consumable for sure now we're going to make it target all enemies. We're going to make it only available from the battle screen. This is a lot like the skills that we went over last time. So just keep that in mind. Speed, of course, how the, you already know that one from skills, success, know it from skills, repeat, TP gain, all of that you should already know from the skills tutorial previously. Hit type, we'll make it a physical attack. Because it's a firebomb, we're going to make it physical and it's going to be based on the enemy's evasion and their um, see evasion and hit rate. So your ability to hit. Now the animation, I'm thinking something like fire all, which will be down here, fire all one. So nice, it's almost like a fire spell with physical abilities. This element's going to be fire and the cool part here is that we can use defense instead of offense. So A dot does physical fire damage to all enemies. So A dot, ah, you know what? We're gonna make this, let's make it based partially off of your attack power. Um, but we're gonna add, we're gonna make it factor in the defense and we're going to also add a base to it. So 100 plus a dot attack plus two times or minus, there we go. So what it's gonna do is have a base of 100. It's always gonna do 100 damage. It's gonna add the a dot attack, um, which is your attack. And we're going to subtract the enemy's defense from that. Looks good. Variants, you should know that, critical hits. Uh, effects. I've already gone over that in the last one. You should know that. So make sure you go over skills if you haven't. And that's pretty much items. Super simple. We can set up whatever we want. In this case, we could have a item that, let's see, a pipe. Pipe of, hmm, pipe of power. I believe there's a whole bunch of different things. None of these quite look like a pipe or even a musical instrument, which is kind of what I want to go for. 
Ah, too bad. I'll go ahead and grab just a regular, a weird looking item. That'll work. So, a musical instrument, much like a flute, increases your party's attack when used. So we will make it only available in battle. All allies. A regular item. It is not consumable, so we can use it as many times as we'd like. Its price is 1500 And if you, by the way, if you ever want to make something that can't be sold, back to a shop, set it to zero, which actually we'll do with this one. Uh, scope all. Battle screen. We're going to make it a key item. Maybe it can be some part of a game. Uh, certain hit animation. I believe there's some musical animations here. I just have to find a song there. So that should be it. Well, it doesn't need a damage formula. It just needs an effect. It's going to add a buff of attack for three turns. So it buffs. Actually, you know what? Better yet last one turn it will go first and buffs everyone's attack so basically if your party's got a whole bunch of attacks happening uh, you can play this and it'll boost your attack uh, you know what? let's make it two turns so that you can do it in succession there we go actually better yet one turn repeats twice yeah Pretty cool little flute. Musical instrument, much like a flute. Increase your party's attack when used. Nice. Cool little item right there. Now we're going to jump over to weapons. Weapons use traits instead of effects. As you know, we learn traits in the classes and actors. And if you need a refresher, just jump back to those courses and just learn those again. But we're going to, they give us so few. We're going to add an extra. We're going to add the, hmm, the dagger. Oh, jeez. I was typing. Oh, jeez. I think I just got rid of everything. Anyways, we're going <laughs> to, we're going to add a sword, actually. We're going to create our own. So we're going to add the sword. Nice little guy like that. Attack element physical. Uh, hit rate plus C or percent, that's fine. We don't need to do anything special. A melee weapon for heroic battlers. Weapon type will be sword, price to 150. Animation, of course the hit slash, slash physical right there. And it will increase our attack by 10. So pretty simple weapon right here. We can add a dagger, throw on that by five, weapon type, dagger, price five. Well, actually, 100, animation, pierce, physical. Pretty simple weapon right there. Maybe it adds one agility, and all right. So we can go with more complex weapons like a cane. Uh, it could add 10 MP to attack weapon for mages enhances magical capabilities. They have a cane icon right here. There we go. Weapon type is, of course, the cane price 200 animation hit physical. Attack two defense looks good. It gives us some MP and we'll even allow it to boost our magic attack by a hundred by ten percent. So there, nice little booster right there. Um, actually, better yet, five percent. It's not a lot, but can do that's a, that's a nice little bonus in case we want something that just enhances it by a flat amount instead of a like static five or ten percent so it kind of scales with you 
And then we can have all sorts of other items, a weapon like a fist. Um, we can do things like, let's see. This one could reduce your attack by 10. However, it increases your attack times by one. One seventy five knuckle punching weapon boost attack attacks twice. Of course, we need a claw animation hit special one. That's fine and cool. So we have cool little weapons that we can make. Uh, we can even make really special weapons that give us skills. So we can make a flame sword, flame blade, yeah, flame blade. Fire based sword, grants. What is the name of the skill for fire? Fire, grants, fire spell. animation hit fire or is it slash fire there so we can add the ah wait element type there we are attack element fire simple little thing there and then we go to skill add skill fire there so now it has the attack elements, fire, and it allows us to use the fire spell. You can like have five attack, actually eight, and there, price 300. Cool. And we can also just go with a completely different system. I'm talking your only your items allow you to use skills. So depending on the item, you, depends on your skill. So you can have a book. And if you're using a book, let's see, I don't think they have a book in here. So we're going to just throw it under uh, cross, not gun for now. Animation, hit physical, price 350. No boosts. But this, actually, yeah, no boosts. But this gives you three different skills the fire skill, the heal, and spark. So it could also give you the skill type magic. So you have the magic uh, menu in your battle during battles and uh, when you're checking your skills. So that's a neat little thing we can do. We can make it so items uh, are what determine our skills. We can also do the same thing here. These are almost the exact same. They only have a difference in equipment type and armor type. So we're gonna go over those real fast. And that's pretty much it. General armor. Uh, basically, this is the type of armor it is. It's going to determine who can equip it. So as you can see, general armor here, armors for this one are, let's see, general armor, then the equipment type, that's the slot it goes in when you're equipping items to your characters. There's multiple slots. This one would go in the accessory. This one would go on body. This would go on head, shield. And if we wanted to, we could also add things to this. So we could add a... Uh, states, a whole bunch of other things. We can make it so that equipment is percentage based on increasing so that every item scales with you throughout the game. You can do a whole bunch of things. It's up to you. Remember just to try and make it unique and it should be pretty cool. You should have a good game just playing with these three. Uh, with that in mind, this tutorial is over. And I hope you guys learned something. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate all of those things. I always like to know what you guys are looking for in the next video. So go ahead and hit me back up.
Now, thank you, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.